Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, it's vlog number 8, July 19th, 2019 and holy cow, we are three months, I hate to say it, but <laughs> we're three months out of my fall foliage cruise that comes up on October 19th. So yeah, August, September, October, yeah. So three months uh, till that cruise. Now you guys know I've been doing that cruise for, I think I'm on my my eighth year doing the cruise. And that's gotten, you know, a ton of uh, following to it. You know, I get people that fly in from different uh, parts of the country actually to be part of that cruise. Last year was probably one of the weaker cruises we had because of weather. Uh, rain and such and I, it was my first year where I actually had to postpone the cruise, but all overall we still had a great cruise um, But we've had up to about 60 cars uh, Doing this cruise and if you guys have never seen uh, The cruise or any of the videos on my channel just do a, a quick uh, YouTube search for fall foliage cruise classic VW bugs and you guys get to see the beauty of the short time that this area looks really nice, uh, the, the fall leaves and, and the colors, everything looks beautiful. And we do 60 miles through the Hudson Valley. So we start at my shop and we go up uh, up the, the Hudson Valley region through the Palisades, Palisades Parkway, over the Bear Mountain Bridge. We do some sightseeing at Bear Mountain and then we have a feast at the end. So uh, pretty cool, great following. I get a guy that flies in from California every year to pretty much do this cruise. I had a couple come all the way down from Canada, drove 24 hours uh, in their bus uh, to be part of that cruise. So uh, it's pretty memorable here now. So um, so what are we talking about this week? What happened this week? Uh, pretty cool stuff this week. I, I'm wrapping up Mike's uh, 56 Build-A-Bug project with that Evergreen Metallic Beetle, which is like the third or fourth time we've done that Evergreen Metallic. Uh, clients seem to really like that color combo, uh, or that color in general, with like a beige interior or a wheat interior, uh, you know, with the tweed headliner and things like that. People seem to really like that. Um, I had to send it off to back to my paint, uh, the body shop for just some few touch-ups. Yeah, you know, being in this business for, you know, a good 10, 12 years, there, I always seem to find a way to, I don't know, scratch the paint. <laughs> you know, you're putting something on, you're putting a mirror on, you're putting some seals on, you're putting, you know, hood seals on, things like that, and whoop, you slip and scratch the paint. So I try never to use any sort of screwdrivers or anything like that because, you, you know, it always happens. You slip and you scratch the paint. So I use those plastic uh, utility uh, knives. Uh, that are good to get things in but uh, you never know sometimes you got a tool in your hand you turn around and you swipe the car um, it just happens uh, and even to the best of us sometimes I mean I don't care how many years you've been in the resto business uh, it's it could be it's very challenging to not scratch, scratch sometimes so I mean uh, I've gone to I've gone through some cars where yeah I don't I, I don't hit it but right at the end right when I'm finishing the car and it's right to, it's just about to go out the door I, whoop, I slice it a, sl a bit <laughs> oh man that sucks but uh, so they, they're just getting it touched up we get it all touched up so everything looks right before it leaves um, so that's cool but that's a beautiful car that should be done pretty much by the end of the month and running and driving and uh, on its way to Texas um, also this week was uh, I did two vlogs uh, not vlogs podcasts uh, two um, uh, podcasts that are online uh, let's talk v-dub podcast I talked with those guys that was pretty cool uh, so that'll be on my channel soon and I'll, I'll probably post that on Facebook and then I spoke to a girl named uh, Victoria who was out of England uh, that was another VW podcast that she has out there uh, so I'll have the links in the description below of exactly uh, where you can find these guys uh, they have their own radio uh, V-Dub talk podcast. Pretty cool. So kind of like a radio station. Uh, that's pretty cool. So I did two in one day. I thought that was funny. So, um, and then uh, somebody wanted to talk about what my thoughts were on the end of the new Beetle. If you guys know, we were on, we had some news uh, showings last week and uh, the year before, even last summer about the end of the Beetle and, and whatnot. So, you know, people are asking me, what do you think of the new Beetle? What do you think of it ending? You know, has it impacted you? And you know, it hasn't really impacted me. I mean, I'm, I'm more of the vintage Beetle. You guys know that. Um, but I have, I did own 
the a 2013 Beetle and a 2016 Beetle. And the 13 Beetle I had was pretty cool. I liked that one. Um, it was black and I had like gray racing stripes on it. And uh, that was the 2.5. It was a base model. It was manual, which was really cool. And it was a 2.5, so correct me if I'm wrong, guys, that was a five cylinder. Um, you know, I don't know much of the technology with the new stuff today, um, but it was a cool car. I figured, you know, company car, I could tax write off, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, I get to lease a new car. Um, pretty cool. I really like that car. Um, you know, I just had some quirks with them. There were some things about them that I didn't like. Um, even the 2016 model I got, which was a, an automatic, uh, but it was a turbo this time, and uh, that was a cool car too. They had like um, a couple things I didn't like. First of all, the 2016 model had the worst horn ever, ever. This horn was like not moving anybody. It was the type of horn that didn't want to offend anybody. That's what the kind of horn it was. person would look behind me like that's your horn you know it's it was so pathetic I mean the real beetle horn is kick-ass you know I love that oh murr, murr. you know it's it's killer this thing was just like um oh, I don't want to bother you just do what you got to do you know I'm gonna honk but you know <laughs> I mean that's what it was it was terrible so between that and what else I didn't like about um all right so the, the old beetle has we all they got the rain drain right that goes over um you know the roof of the car and brilliant idea right so when you open the door you don't get freaking rain in your car and that's exactly what happened with the new beetles if it was a pouring downpour in a rain and you had all this water on the roof of your car you open that door splash right on right on your seat now you're sitting on a wet seat that's what i got with with those and i did not like that the um the door was frameless, so the glass was just by itself. So I think if I open the door here, so this has a nice frame here, that's all good. The Beetle did not have that. It was just, it was frameless. And it had this thing where, you know, once you you open the door, once, the second you open the door, the window drops, maybe like quarter inch or something, so it clears the seal. Yeah, well, when winter came, and it was ice storms, and it was, below zero or something and we had terrible weather this this window would would freeze and would not move and then it was a tr like you can open the door but then it looked like I mean if you pulled it any harder you were gonna break the glass because it was getting stuck in the rubber seal and then you couldn't you know the window couldn't go up and down so then when you went t came time to then close the door it would then close up against the seal and the window was like cocked out. That was annoying. Um, and then many times I then had to reset the motor in the door because then the window didn't want to go up and down. So that was annoying too. I, I, I really didn't, I, I just felt like, you know, practicality purpose. I know they're trying to streamline things and, but the, that was something I just, I really didn't care for. Gas mileage was eh. It wasn't great, you know, you got better in the old Beetle. You know, it's um, just one of those things where Volkswagen did not make it the economical thing, the economical car like the old one used to be. I guess maybe they weren't targeting that. Um, so anyways, it, it was an okay car. Um, I didn't really see Volkswagen push it very much, marketing wise. So I think that's part of the reason why they wanted to just kind of phase it out I don't even think it did as well as the 90s generation, the, the, the version that came out in 20, uh, I'm sorry, in uh, 1998. Um, that more of a, that one I could not, I could not get into. I didn't care for that car. Um, I could not stand how huge that dashboard was. Um, and when I did test drive it, to me it just felt like a tin can. Uh, it just felt very hollow, it felt very light. Uh, I, I really didn't care for that one. The, the newer one I liked from 2012, it seemed more, I don't know, Audi TT, squat, a little more muscular. You know, it had that kind of uh, a better appeal to me. Maybe a little more masculine, you know. Uh, so, 
that's why I got the, I at least the two. But then after the 2016, I turned that in. I was I was done with it. So, um, you know, would I get another one? Man, I don't know. If I did, maybe I'd buy a used one that's a convertible or something. But I think Volkswagen does have something up their sleeve. I mean, they, they're making a whole craze about this again. That this is the end of the Volkswagen Beetle. But I'm telling you guys, I don't. They've said that before. <laughs> so there's already concept drawings out there on a new electric beetle coming out i think if they're going to have the electric bus come out they're going to have to follow up with the electric beetle i really think so and i really think it might maybe it'll be a surprise i could be wrong but uh, if you do a google search for electric beetle there's already concept drawings out there with a four-door electric beetle suicide doors things like that so looks pretty damn cool uh, i'll be honest so i think that's what they were doing they were just kind of they got a, they had to phase that out um and I think that's why they didn't really market it that much because I think that was their whole plan was to phase this thing out. Uh, so that's my opinion on that. Um, cool car, you know, wait a few years, let the price come down, you can buy a used one. You know, maybe there'll be some sort of a collector uh, vehicle down the line. I don't know. It was a very short time they were out, right? Um, but yeah, uh, that's my opinion on the new Beetle. Okay car, you know, still nowhere near as memorable as the uh, the original motor in the back air cooled that tweety sound um yeah it's just not the same so um and that's it uh i think hot week this week holy cow 100 degrees 110 degrees i don't know how long i'm gonna be in the shop today uh i'll have some fans going but that's about it and it's funny too you know like from the midwest down south uh everything's so hot but yet that place where i want to move to florida was actually west palm beach was actually cooler than uh, the northern uh, states so I thought that was pretty funny so um, and one other thing I want to do is um, question of the day I've seen these a lot on, on YouTube channels of the, these guys these creators they do a question of the day and I figured I'd shoot this out to you guys my question of the day to you is what do you want to see in my videos what do you want to see on my vlogs what do you want to chat about what do you want to talk about leave that in the comments uh, below the video that would be great and as always be sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so when uh, every time I put out a new video you get notified that uh, the vintage scene is still going and that's the point of me doing these videos guys um, and if you can for the price of a cup of coffee uh, you can send a small PayPal donation to this channel to keep it alive to keep it growing keep the vintage scene on the road so all right guys have a great weekend july 19th we are still burning in summer moving right along and um yeah i'll see you next week take care uh -huh.